Hello guys, the DB Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time we got Kevin Cater with 500 rating versus Yellowheart1995 with 588 rating, so this is going to be another high rated DB video, and before we hop in, I wanted to say thank you, uh, all the merch has officially been shipped out, uh, well it's being made and then shipped out, but all, all that's done now, I want to say thank you again for 20k subs, uh, I'll be doing more merch at 30k, 40k, 50k, all like the 10k milestones is when I plan on doing merch. So uh, expect that whenever we hit 30k. And let's hop right into the video. And then we are going to see a tie. Oh, okay. Then we're going to see Kevin win the rock, paper, scissors shoot so they can decide if they want to go first or second. Looking at deck counts, we see 40 versus 40. Gotta love to see it. And then they are going to decide to go first. Opening hands, we have Foxy called by Bell, Desires, and Valor. So even going second, they'd have multiple hand traps. Uh, going first a hand is a little weird right now, but I guess we'll find out like what the draws are, potentially what the mills are. And then they have Area Zero, Ray, Upstart, Lightning Storm, and Pink. So no hand traps, but they do have multiple going second cards, plus like an engine. And then they're going to activate Desires, Banish 10, and we can peep those. And we see no Gazelle, no Sanctuary. Uh, if they only play one Jack, that sucks. You can also see Order in the main deck, Droll. And then they draw into Jack and Imperm, so now we know they're playing multiple Jack. Then they're going to Normal Summon out Foxy, Effect. And that's going to Mill and Miss. Unfortunate. Feels like this card's just always missing. I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe that's just me. Even when it hits, usually it's not like that crazy. But go into Bailing, and then Bailing's effect. Go grab Sanctuary. Now when this hits like Circle, Gazelle, uh, even like Will, it's like, oh. Or like a Trap, it's like, ah, it feels so good. But I don't know. I've seen this miss a lot on the channel. And then activate Sanctuary, Relink into Bailing, and then set two pass. They draw Ash Blossom. Then they're going to start off by activating Upstart. Draw on the Widow, then Lightning Storm, hit the Spells and Traps, it's pretty good there. And then Summon out Pink, activate Area Zero, Normal Summon Ray, Area Zero on Ray, and then Chain Ray Effect, and yeah, they just submit defeat there. Uh, honestly, that's fair enough, they realize they can't win that. That's like an unwinnable game right there, I feel like. I mean, they could have tried playing it, because like, there's no time limit on DB or anything. But you also have to think, like, if you know you're going to lose that game, you could just submit the feats. That way you can play more matches and get more rating. But going on to game two, we are going to see Salad decide to go second. Opening hands, we have Bell, Twin, Bell, Buffer, Low Gazelle. So a few going second cards. And then the hand's not bad. Uh, then they have Pink, Lightning Storm. Wow, they opened Pink, Lightning Storm again. Imperm, Area Zero, Nib. So... They might just pass here. Like, they could set an area zero on it. Yeah, they're just going to pass. Draw sign at mining. That's good. They're going to sign at mining, get rid of a bell, go grab jack, and then normal summon out buffer low, turn that into bailings, and then get those effects. Bailings two, buffer low one, search, get rid of jack, draw order. GG. <laughs> nah, nah, it's not really GG here. Like, they have pink, but wow. That is definitely a good draw. Then Gazelle bring itself out. It's cool because like anti-spell and order, even like turn like two and three versus like striker, they're still good because like the deck is all spells. So even if you flip these later on, it's usually still good. And then summon, effect, dump Falco, and then Falco, bounce Gazelle, summon that back. And then turn those into Wolf, Jack effect, Put back Bailing, summon out Jack, and then they're going to get Wolf Effect to add back, add back Falco. And then Battle Phase, go ahead and poke for 36. And then Main Phase 2, make Bailings, and then turn those into a Splash Mage. And then Splash Effect, summon out Buffer Low, and then turn those into Transcode. Transcode Effect, summon back out Wolf. Yeah, a little misclick there. Uh, doing that just so we like can't be targeted. You know, this isn't bad. I remember a lot of solid players were actually ending on this board at one point in time. And they're gonna set, end of main phase, drop nib, pass over the token. 
And then pass turn. Draw Ash Blossom. Wow, that was their sixth card last game, too. And then activate area zero. Area zero effect on Nib. And they're probably feeling really good right now about area zero on Nib. Because, like, you know, they have order. So, like, they can stop spells. And usually, like, you know, area zero is probably going to hit a spell. And they're getting rid of a big beat stick. But they're actually, like, you know, playing in the pain. But I definitely wouldn't flip order there either. Just kind of unfortunate that dude drew pink again. And they hit Ray. Wow, they're just very skilled. And then special summon. Normal summon out Ray. Attack over because it does have zero defense. Attributed links. And then effect to get rid of itself. Summon Hayate. And then attack. Dump effect. And they're going to take the pink too. Go dump Widow. Main phase two. Go for Kagari. Kagari effect to add back. Chain bell to stop that. And then go for Shiz. Set Imperm, End Phase, Shiz Effect, go grab Engage, and then pass turn, draw Will. So, they didn't have to flip order last turn, so now, like, their spells are going to be usable. They're going to discard Falco, hit Area 0, and Imperm. Said just that. Alright, yeah, target both. And then, uh, they're going to activate Gazelle in Area 0. So go ahead, summon Gazelle, summon out Rose, and attack. Okay, yeah, in defense. And then they're going to activate Falco effect to bounce. Summon that out. And then normal summon. So they're... Uh... It, why? Huh, okay. Why are they not using the effect of dump? Do they want to wait to do that? It's like, they didn't do it there. Like, am I, I'm not missing anything. Like, yeah. Not too sure. Obviously, it's a very free effect. Go for Hida. And the Kagari was summoned properly. So they can use this on it. Then they're going to chain Pank to pop Hida. And then Hida effect to go search. Go grab Spinny. Uh, nah, it... Okay, two things. <laughs> so, first of all, this has to summon to a zone that it points to, and it's off-board, so there's no zone it points to. Second of all, if you thought that it worked like that, why wouldn't you pop it on summon? Because then you're just giving him a fire monster to work with. So, just... Yeah, it obviously doesn't get summoned, but wild. Uh, activate will, will effect, summon back out wolf, and then sanctuary, relink into wolf, and then jack effect, put back wolf, summon out, and then they can use wolf effect there to add back gazelle. Still just so confused why they didn't dump. Like, there's, there's gotta be something I'm just not thinking of. Like, ogre? Like, maybe afraid of Ogre and then Pink popping a monster, but, like, you're kind of okay with that anyways, since, like, you know, Order's resolving then, and that, like, you could Will summon back, and then Order's resolving because Pink's popping a monster. But Spinning Effect on Jack. You do have two spells in Graveyard there. And then Battle Phase, Wolf Beat Over. Uh, yeah, they attacked in the wrong order there. Uh, Ray effect, chain bell. They should have woof, attacked over shiz, dealt 100, and then, you know, Ray effect, chain bell, and then jack, attack over rose, because this card does piercing. So they could have, uh, done more damage there. Pass, draw talons. And then lightning storm, chain order. And going on to the next game. Said, well played on my part. I mean, let's not OTK, right? Yeah. Uh, I, I mean, I guess it's okay to, like, play a little bit more safe just because, like, you have order. As long as you have an engine and an order, you're really not losing a striker. But I, I agree. I think they played weird. I really wouldn't say well played. I mean, why not Gazelle Effect the dump? Like, I'm just, I don't get it. Order is the reason I don't play Striker at all. So now moving on to game three, we're gonna see Sky Striker decide to go second. 
opening hands we have ash rage desires anti-spell desires and like they know it's there so hopefully they have stuff to out it like you have to and then they have talons harpies shark cannon lightning storm imperm like these cards could also be like an mst or cosmic to uh help deal with the real problems of the deck which is anti-spell order uh yeah I've, I've seen a lot of people recently they'll have like twin cosmic uh mst a lot of stuff like that so that way they can actually like hit anti-spell because like this card's very 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 common right now go ahead and desires let's see we'll just get to engine though banish 10 no gazelle no sanctuary wow draws into gazelle and imperm okay okay summon effect Imagine being scared one card with twin cosmics and MSTs. Well, to be fair, if they're playing twin cosmic MST, lightning storm, and harpies, that's kind of insane. They're gonna imprim that. But I mean, just because like you have outs to a card doesn't mean you shouldn't like be scared of it. But you know, if you have a lot of outs and you feel confident like you can stop the card, then that's fair enough. They're going to summon Bailings, go grab Sanctuary, then activate Sanctuary, relink in the Bailings, and then set four pass, draw Lightning Storm, flip Anti Spell, and then they are going to choose to set pass. Even four order after siding, and then Rage, target Bailings, go ahead and pop a back row. Yeah, I was going to say, like, I mean, you just want to pop this one, because, like, that could be, like, the, the Imperm for next turn. But you also could be getting, like, baited into thinking this is imperm. I remember that being, like, super common. Well, kind of is super common even now. Uh, especially, like, with this interaction coming up. Go ahead, pop that. Draw order. Wow. <laughs> Go ahead, desires. Let's see. They, they just need an engine. I mean, seeing engine, they win. Draw foxy will. So they can't use this this turn because I have to set it. But Foxy isn't bad. They still have a Jack left in deck. It's really important. And then go ahead and summon effect. And then that's going to mill, grab Spinny. It's not bad. It's definitely not bad. And then get rid of those to make Wolf. And then relink Wolf with Sanctuary. Wolf effect. Add back Rage. That's going to be huge. And then set pass, so they're deciding to not attack. Um, not too sure why. I I guess that plays around like evenly, but wouldn't they just like evenly you last turn? Like not set forward, like one being evenly, just like ah, evenly you. Uh, kind of weird. I guess like playing around like deep prison, I, I don't know. Uh, draw twin. I guess it doesn't really matter though since like you have order rage uh, Draw phase target wolf to pop two and Then this will be popping Harpies and lightning storm and then activate lightning storm chain order said that's so fair You there it's called judge they left how long were they afk for? Uh yeah, I guess that's fair. <laughs> After like a minute, you know, it's kind of it's kind of obvious that they kind of just like dipped the situation. After they saw anti-spell order. But yeah, I mean, even if that did like, let's say somehow this resolves order is not there. You know, they they lose anyways. They have no engine. They just don't do anything. They drew a whole bunch of like Cards that hurt the opponent, but don't actually do anything. Uh, Talents is definitely a weird card versus Salad, since their engine doesn't really put up like monster negates, like a like a Savage or anything like that. I guess it's for the hand traps, which uh, is decent. Um, I wouldn't say it's good versus Salad though. Maybe like if you're playing like a combo deck and you go first versus Sal, then obviously it's pretty decent because like they're gonna hand trap you, just try to stop you, and then you can talents them. But in a deck like this, it's kind of weird. It's kind of like playing talents and Eldlish. Uh, definitely an interesting choice. But seeing how long the match was, it was only an 18 minute long match. 
I definitely felt longer than that. Hmm. I don't know. I feel like I'm being lied to. But, uh, you know, obviously there's going to be three videos today. I mean, there's three videos like every day. Uh, but there is going to be a uh, an Iron Man, a 3v3 Iron Man going up. That's going to be going up later today. I'm happy. I'm excited to go over that. Uh, definitely has some good players in it. Like, I saw the players' names. But with that being said, the DB Grinder signing off. Peace. Have a nice day.